All right, Coach, final scrimmage of the spring with the J-Day game. Just talk a little bit about what you saw out on the field. Well, I was very pleased. You know, you can tell our depth is a lot better, uh, best it's been. Uh, we guys we got out right now, you know, on IR to, to have gotten the quality reps we got Dane. You've seen a splitter team, which we've not done that way. We've we've been able to go, you know, uh, one over the 2D, you know, the last two springs and because of depth reasons. And, and we was able to draft our team and completely split them up. And uh, we had enough depth to do that, even with all those guys hurt that's out right now. So we get those guys back. To be honest with you, in a lot of spots, you can't tell the difference between the ones and twos, and that's a really good thing. So uh, hopefully we'll continue building that depth, but a very productive spring and exciting spring, and I had a fun today. Beautiful day, and uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of folks here. So almost 4,000 people here at the spring game. So, you yeah, know, very, very productive. You mentioned that you did a draft this year. You know, last year you just split them up ones and twos. Could you see a difference in – the whole scrimmage from last year? No doubt. I mean, it puts a lot more excitement around. It uh, gives them a little ownership because they've drafted the teams. And they were, they were excited about it. Creates a little excitement. So it was uh, it was a lot of fun to be able to do it that way. And we we're, were fortunate enough we got enough depth to do that. Did you see a position maybe stand out today, either on offense or defense? Uh, I think depth of our D-line because we've got you know, starting four D-linemen are out. And for them guys to play as well as they did, they did really good. And our secondary, I thought, played really well. So, you know, offensively, I mean, we've gotten a red zone, didn't get some points there. Had to kick field goals. And, uh, you know, but that's uh, a good job for the defense of getting stops. But uh, overall, just pleased with everybody. With losing to Marcus James, could you tell a difference in – the running backs with Pope and Miles? Well, I think you know what you're going to get out of Pope and Miles. And they're just uh, a year, going to be a year older. And, you know, it's their last, you know, rodeo, so to speak, in the senior year. And I think they're ready to, you know, tote the load and, and make up for Marcus being gone. And we're definitely going to miss Marcus. There's no doubt. I mean, he's a good football player. And yeah, he's a guy you want to have on your team. But I think uh, Pope and Jones both can get the job done for us. Did uh, anything stand out with you with the offensive line? Uh, I think depth. I mean, we had four guys that did play, three starters, and a backup that did not go today. And, you know, for them to be able to, you know, in years past we had that many outs, you'd have a hard time doing this type of a scrimmage. So, uh, and a lot of people running in that problem in the spring. So I, I think the depth there was a, a big thing. You know, Justin Lee played well, I thought. Casey Dunn up front. Uh, Dylan Klein has had a really good spring. So it's good to have Burks back in there. He's missed, you know, part of spring with a sore foot, but he's been, he's done good with Eli Jenkins coming back, and we also saw a little bit of um, Christian LeMay. You know, how did the quarterback – I they, thought they, they did well. I mean, uh, you know, we did, you know, protected the ball for the most part, made some explosive plays on both sides. Uh, you know, like I said, we'd like to have made some throws to, to get the ball in the end zone and red zone. But other than that, outside of that, I think, you know, all, all the quarterbacks moved their team so uh, down the field. So it was a good day for them. All right, Eli, the J-Day scrimmage. Just talk a little bit about um, how today went. Uh, today went pretty good. You know, we had – Plays made on both sides of the ball. You know, we came. Both teams came out to play. We had a we had a draft this year instead of just playing ones on twos and, and uh, etc. We had a draft. You know, the seniors got to pick who they wanted on their team, and it played out pretty good for for both teams. It was pretty even. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you saw defensively wise. You know, how how does the defense look? Uh, the defense looked pretty good. You know, the, to say some of the twos were starting on 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 the red squad and some of the twos were starting on the white squad. It's crazy that. We have that much depth that we can have a two, and you wouldn't even know that he wasn't a starter. So, I mean, I'm proud of those guys, both sides of the ball. You know, we're both teams, that, uh, especially on the defense, that they play great ball. And we got to talk about the offensive line. You know, they protect you out there. How do, how do they look? They look, they look really good. We had a couple of new guys. You know, my left tackle, he never played. I mean, well, he played, but he never actually been in a live situation. Uh, he held his own. A lot of, a lot of doubt was. Uh, was given to given to him, saying that he wasn't gonna be able to do it, but he held his own. I'm proud of him. Um, you know, with Demarcus James not being here, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a gap there, but you still have, you know, you have Pope and you have uh, Miles. Is, do, do you see the back still? Are they still looking good to you? They look really good. I mean, those two guys, they're really good players. Like I feel like they're gonna step up and make plays to. You no, know, you can never forget about Demarcus James, but you know to feel that feel that void that that he's uh that he's leaving. So I mean, if they keep on working hard. You know we got summer coming, and we got we're gonna be grinding all summer. They keep working hard. I don't see no why, no reason why they can't be all Americans.
on the white team, white team pull through today. Does that mean anything special to you to win? Yes, definitely. Last time I was on this field, I lost. I told I told my team that this was my Sam Houston, you know. So I won. I knew I was going to win, but I'm, I'm happy. Did anything stand out to you with your performance today? Uh, not really. Or the quarterbacks? Anything? Uh, I think, I mean, no picks. First time we, uh, we, we threw zero interceptions. Uh, Coach just said he was proud of us for that. You know, we had a couple of mis misreads, uh, but, I mean, we got time to, to work on that.